Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and I want to take a first look at Google's brand new screen call function. And they showed this off briefly at the event that they held, and this was something that really caught my attention because this is a new technology. Uh, if you remember Google rolling out Duplex where they can have the assistant answer phone calls for you, talk in real time with a live person, and get feedback from it, this is kind of the start to that. So what screen call is, is that when your phone gets a call, you have a button that shows up called screen call, and I will demonstrate this in just a second, uh, and it will allow you not to answer the call. However, the person on the other end will hear the Google Assistant, and the Assistant will say, hey, why are you calling me? And then when you talk to the Google Assistant, it will transcribe what they're saying in real time and show up as text on your phone. So let's say you're in a meeting or somewhere important where you can't talk, but you wanna see who's calling, maybe it's an unknown number, or maybe it's someone that you need to talk to, it will transcribe what they're saying and you can have buttons to respond to them and the assistant will say something to them in response when you press those buttons. Now it does sound too good to be true, but let's go ahead and grab our Pixel and get a first look at Google's new screen call. So let's go ahead and test this out. I do have to blur out parts of this video, of course, for phone number reasons, but I do wanna show off what it looks like when you get a call on the lock screen, but also when your phone is unlocked. So let's go ahead and test it. I'm calling my Pixel 3 from my Pixel 2 XL, my Pixel 3 XL from my Pixel 2 XL. So let's go ahead and make this call. And while it calls, it will show up on my, uh, while my phone is locked, as you can see, a phone number, and also down at the bottom, you will see screen call and reply. And I'm going to put this on speaker so you can kind of tell what is going on with it. Um, I'm gonna just block out these numbers for now. And you'll see the assistant icon next to it and a text that you can reply, but let's go ahead and answer it. Hi, the person you're calling is using a screening service. This is coming from my speaker on the phone that I called me go with. Ahead and say your name and why you're calling. Hi, this is Comcast. I'm just calling to let you know that I will be raising your bill for no reason yet again. And you'll see I have a bunch of options down at the bottom. Just to double check, who's this calling? It's difficult to understand you at the moment. Could you repeat what you just said? Sure, this is no problem. I can repeat myself. But you'll also see I have a call me back option. I'll call you back and it will hang up the call due to that red icon right there. But also look at that real tr real time transcription. Insane that this is uh, a possibility right now. It's so cool. And again, you do have the report as spam button down towards the bottom. Um, and you'll see here, you, you don't even need to hear any voice, anything like that. The only audio you're hearing is coming from the phone that I called from. So that's insane and really cool. So if I go ahead and I don't want to report it spam, but if I say I'll call you back or call me back. They can't talk right now, but try calling them back later. Thanks and goodbye. There you go. And it goes ahead and hangs up the call. And one more example, while your phone is unlocked, it shows this screen where you have decline, screen call, and answer. So it's a little bit different. I'm gonna set this phone to the side that's calling, but if I go ahead and hit screen call, it will go ahead and do the exact same thing. Go to this screen, shows you who you're on the phone with, and you can get the feedback with, obviously my phone's over there, it's probably not gonna pick up my voice. Hey, this is Tim. Wow, my phone's actually pretty far away, I'm surprised that actually worked. But again, same exact thing, report a spam, you can respond with specific text, or I'm sorry, voice with the AI, or you can call them back. Of course, you can answer the phone call, or you can just hang it up like that. And that's it. That would be Google Screen Call Incredible. Now there's absolutely no denying this is really awesome technology. The fact that you can real time translate what someone else is saying and just read it on your phone is, uh, is mind blowing to me. Now I wanna get your opinions. Drop a comment, let me know what you think because I know this is gonna be something that's going to turn heads and people are gonna be a little apprehensive about it at first. I had my friend call me and answered with the assistant and their first response was to just hang up because they thought they called the wrong number, they thought my phone wasn't working just because they heard a an AI voice. It's clearly an AI voice that you heard. It is not necessarily meant to mimic a human's voice at this time. And of course, when it comes to spam calls in the US, a lot of times they say, hey, don't answer 
the call because then uh, your number shows up as a live number that will actually answer. Uh, so I think to combat that, they do have that spam button that shows up. So I think it's important to consistently press that if someone's calling and it is actually spam. Again, be sure to drop a comment. Let me know what you think about Google's new screen call. I would love to hear back from you guys, whether it's something you think you're going to use all the time, whether you think that Google should not have this feature, whatever it is, drop a comment, let me know. So overall, that's about it. That would be the first look at Google's brand new screen calling function. I believe it's only rolling out to the US to start. I'm not sure if they have plans to roll it out to other countries. Uh, but that's about it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to click that subscribe button. A lot more videos coming in the very near future. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.